What's going on, everybody? I know my camera's a little crooked here. I'll get it fixed. This is my new grading tool. Welcome to the newest high-tech piece of extreme land gear. It's a microscope. It has two LED lights here. It can plug in. It gives you more lighting. Now, I will tell you, if you don't know what you're doing on these things like me, it takes a while to figure it out. And, uh, yeah, it took me a little bit to get this thing here going. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you guys here. All right, so you can see the corner of the card right there. Now, I know because of camera on camera, it really is hurting it and looking at this. And I can't really... Let me see if I can find a way to just to hold it up on here. Steady, there we go. I'll fix it magnification here. There we go. See that? Oh, let me pull this off too. All right. So as you can see up on top here, there's white. And that's this corner right here, all right? For me, I can see a picture perfect without doing camera on camera. And you can really play with the reflection just by, like, playing with a card like this, too, onto it. Well, now I just screwed up the magnification. But um, a little bit easier because with gloves on and stuff like that. But you can start picking up stuff on your edges and your corners and everything. And it's really an amazing tool. So I'm going to pull this down, but that's just a little white speck on a corner, and PSA will gig you on that. I was using... This is a PSA 10 Lubob, and I was showing uh, somebody this earlier. I just got to play it to focus. But if you look, it's crisp and clear the whole way down through this card. Whoops. Kind of hard because you got to watch yourself on camera doing it until I get a hang of it. That's the edges the whole way down, and then I get to the corners. And they are like crisp, sharp type deals. So it gives me an idea. So that blue you saw earlier, which is, uh, okay, let me hold it here. It would be right up in here. Had that little white speck onto it. These here are perfect. So I went through a lot. And this is just my new tool offhand that I'm going to be using to look at different grades onto. And this is just how the red looks. And this, let me move this thing out of my way. All right. And like I said, you can play it to focus onto this to really get it down right into it. And where you have glare at, if you just pick the card up or move it different ways, you can play with the glare. But it really breaks it down to it. And especially like when you're trying to look into divots, like here's the cow stuff right there. It just shows you how big it brings it up. But this thing here is going to help me tremendously on not having to sit there and look at you know, 50 cards, and I miss something because of it. Now, granted, each card does take a little bit longer to go through by doing this, and especially with a camera on a camera, me trying to look with, it, with just me doing this stuff, I'm really, really quick on just one card because I can maneuver and look. But anything that has, like, now white onto it, which is a little bit harder to see, See, white on white don't look good, so you got to change it around. And you can use their silver backing onto it, but I don't like it that much. But with this here, I'm just looking for sharpness because it's white already on the corner. And you can really play with it onto it. Or you can put a black cloth on the bottom of it or a black, you know, spray paint a black dummy card or something and see it as well, too. I'm not promoting this for everybody to go get a hold of because i think this ran me like 130 bucks or something but taking this to like a show with me you know i could sit there where people are coming with raw cards and they're trying to tell me oh it'll psa 10 and you're like dude it's not going to psa 10 kind of beats the argument out onto it as well too but this is really going to help me like i said siphle through cards a lot quicker Onto, hey, am I going to send this in? Okay, this is going to come back a nine. Is it worth me with my time and money putting in to make this into a nine? But really cool contraption, like I said. Uh, where my phone go? I'll show you what the app kind of. I know the screen on screen kind of looks funky. Oh boy, I got to charge my cell phone definitely here. So this is like the actual picture of the card. I took this off the screen. If it'll. We can go here. Of course, I don't want to work. All right, let me. 
me do this. All right, there we go. And now my computer just went dark on me. So as you can see, I could really dig into it. Again, it's this camera going to a camera, so it's kind of hard to see. But that little white speck there, that's why you're doing the corner. It'll get you a 9. And like I said, when I was using my regular magnifier, this thing here, it's a good tool to use. Don't get me wrong and stuff like that. But at times, you're missing stuff when you're going over and you're trying to look. And you think that corner is perfect and you're getting ready to send it off. No, not anymore. This is my new tool right here. Figured I'd share this with everybody. Um, really, really great piece of equipment in my mind. I'm going to turn this off. That I'll be able to use to help invest in my cars. Plus, I didn't pull this thing off, so it did give me a little bit of a reflection up there. I've been learning how to play the sharpness, brightness, resolution, all this stuff onto it. So if you're really smart or into that kind of stuff, I'm telling you, this thing here is a game changer in my opinion. I don't know if anybody else has anything like this out there. If you do, please leave it in the comment section because I'm really curious onto it. If you've used them, how you like them. I I'm a pretty much a fan onto it, to be honest. And I know it looks kind of a little funky and stuff like it. I'll pull it down here. But, you know... This is pretty much your adjustment to getting the focus on. You can push it up and down, whatever you want on to it. I pretty much will have it up higher, so when I focus in, I get a little bit more of the card onto it. I just haven't figured out how you can change the magnification kind of onto it yet, playing with the settings. But I'm a, I'm a fan of it. I like it. I wanted to share this with you guys to show you uh, what I just put a little bit of money into. Just so I can make my life easier on grading, especially like I said, after you start using the magnifying glass, even if it's handheld or a stand, your eyes start going buggy. With this here, I, I went through probably, I think it was 50 cards in under 30 minutes, just scanning the corners, edges, fronts, and back. So, way quicker for me. Um, definitely a tool I'm going to use and even bring out to probably the next show I do offhand just to have it there. Uh, cause a lot of times people come by with their cards and, you know, they always ask about grading. What do you think this will get? I mean, I could guess, but now I have a little bit better to say, Hey, your corners are jacked up and you could use the handheld my, uh, thing to find the divots quicker on to the small ones. But if you ever want to check them out, I got this off of Amazon. It's just a microscope with an LED feature thing on to it. Uh, they run anywhere from like a good one, like a, a little over a hundred bucks to maybe one fifty. So, and I got to want the LED lights on the side because I could sit there and re-angle stuff onto it. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, you think it'll be a good tool in the long run? I, I'm a fan of it. I'm just curious what everybody else thinks offhand. All right, everybody, appreciate you watching the video. Have a good week coming up, or yeah, because this will come out on Sunday. Have a good week coming out. And I will catch you guys live in two weeks for the auction, uh, March 12th, because there's a lot of product this week. And I'll catch you all then live. Take care.